you'll feel like you've gotten out of town without actually going too far out of town. Take a look at three reasons we found to pay a trip to Canton soon. On more than a thousand acres just south of Canton, an outdoor escape awaits. Newton Hills is known for its rolling hills, deep ravines, um, large forests. We have eight miles of trails out here, some hiking trails, some multi-use trails where you can do mountain biking, horseback riding. Um, we have a large campground, 136 campsites. We have a horse camp. We have nine cabins, one modern cabin, and a lodge. When they say modern cabin, they mean it. Check this out. It just opened last fall, and it's been filling up with guests. It sleeps eight. We have two bedrooms, a full bathroom, full kitchen, and we provide about everything you need except for food and linens. Other than that, it all should be here. There's an area for grilling, outdoor gathering, and an incredible view. We do have some openings during the week. The weekends are going to be pretty tight unless there is a cancellation. Um, last time I looked, we were booked pretty much through October on weekends. Um, it kind of opens up after that. We have found out some of these larger facilities, um, family gatherings around the holidays are really nice. And of course, there's always the rest of the park, where you can rent or check out everything from banana bikes to yard games. It's been really good. A lot of the pools are open. Uh, it's been so hot, so a lot of the lakes are getting a lot of use with kayaking, swimming, fishing. And uh, we see that trend continuing through the year. If it's Thursday night, you'll want to take a trip to Canton for a popular local market. The Canton Open Air Market started last year in the park between the community's library and the Lincoln County Courthouse. I envisioned a really big community gathering and, and to, a way to support musicians and local nonprofit groups and um, have it be in a place where there was more space and a uh, park for the kids to play. And the library is also open late on Thursday nights and so we kind of collaborate with the library as well. And um, I just wanted it to be a, a great community event. That's what it has become with nearly 20 vendors, local music and food trucks and nonprofit fundraisers. We have vendors that range from homemade cards to vegetables to baked goods to uh, freeze-dried candy, jewelry, um, sewed items, clothing, and then the Boy Scouts are always selling hot dogs. Jennifer Goobles and her family also own Good Life Farms, growing vegetables for shareholders in the Canton and Sioux Falls areas. We also sell our, our vegetables here at the market, and so that's been helpful for us to get our name out there and um, and provide fresh vegetables to, to people that come. The market runs every Thursday through August from 5 to 7 p.m. I love it because people are meeting new people and, um, and making new friends and meeting people that they wouldn't normally see uh, in their regular everyday, you know, everyday interactions, so it's been really fun. And if it's Sunday, you'll nearly always find another reason for a trip to Canton. The Canton Barn began hosting live music and food trucks last summer on Sunday afternoons. Anywhere from folk, country to classic rock. Trying to go every weekend this year and hopefully expand some more to where we do some more musical events during our downtime in the winter upstairs and incorporate the same type of atmosphere. The event generally opens up at 1 p.m. with music an hour later running until 5. Kids are welcome. Um, we've got a lot of green space for them to run in. We just got some um, beanbag boards made, um, you know, identifying the Canton Barn that will always be out from this point forward. So yeah, it's a family, family venue, family event. Plus, you'll get an up-close look at a unique venue that might be a fit for your next event. We're a true historic barn being 104 years old. Um, we focus not only on weddings, but you know, musical events, family events, um, graduations, you name it, we can do it. And our whole idea here is to make it as comfortable as possible. We'd like to thank the Sioux Metro Growth Alliance for sponsoring our trip to Canton today. And if you'd like more information on anything you've seen here, head over to www.siouxfalls.business.